Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Angela here. We're on day 87. Look at this outfit today. It looks a little bit like a cat, a little bit like a mouse, but you know what? I have wings on. Do you know what would look a little bit like a mouse with wings? That's right, a bat. A lot of times we do bats that are for Halloween and they're scary, but really bats are friends. They are very, very good for our environment. So we're going to draw a very cute bat today. <clears throat> so grab your paper and pencil, your markers, your crayons, your colored pencils, and let's get going, everybody. I'm going to move this down while you're getting ready so we can see the board better. And I'm going to move it right up here so you can see us drawing a bat. <laughs> ready? Let's go. Now, we are going to draw the shape of his head. And you know how I say like a goldfish bowl or a bag of money? I like the bag of money idea better. But let's draw it like that. Okay, so we're going to start up here. We're going to go down and make a very big bottom. And then come up. So we have like our goldfish bowl there for his head. Now, bats can hear very well. They have sonar. So if you see them flying around at night, you think, whoa, they're being crazy. They're going to hit something. They'll never hit anything because they have a radar that tells them they're getting close. But let's make those big ears. So his ears are going to go up to a point, but then they're going to come down really big onto the side of his face, just like that. Now let's go ahead and make the top of his head a little bit without connecting it. And then we're going to make the other big ear just like this. Now he's going to be turning a little bit to the side, so this side of his face is going to have smaller features and his wing, and this side is going to be bigger because it's closer to us. Now let's go ahead and make the inside of his ears. So we're going to go right at the point and come down. We're going to go right at the point and come down there too. Now we have got his big ears. Let's go ahead and make his nose. Now his nose are going to make it a little different. We're going to make it like a little curl and go down like that. And then we're going to make another little curl on the other side. And then very lightly, which is going to be hard with a marker, I'm going to make a little round nose around that. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to make a mouth, which is going to be a straight line. And then we're going to make his teeth, just like that, like little vampire teeth. That's, I think, why we see him at Halloween a lot. But, um... That's what I was going to say. We're just going to put those little sharp teeth in. Now let's do two eyes. We're going to do them in the shape of eggs, but we're going to have them kind of tilting in a little bit. So they have kind of a cuter look to them. Just like that. And then we're going to put the highlights in there. We're going to put a big one and a little one. And a big one and a little one. And then that's why we're here. Let's go ahead and just color in his eyes. I think that's when you do the eyes on a cartoon character... That makes them really cute right away. And I like the cuteness to come out right away. All right, there's one eye. And then another eye. Let's go ahead and go down here. See if I can get it all in here. All right, now we have his eyes. There we go. Now, it kind of looks a little bit like a mouse, doesn't it? I, doesn't it? I told you, they're like little mice with wings. Now, let's do his little body. Let's make it really cute. Let's make a little round, like, egg shape. Very nice, very nice. So, we'll give him a couple little hands. We'll give him little three little fingers. I know they probably have more than three fingers, but let's just give this little guy three. And then for his feet, we're hardly even going to see. We're going to give him three little toes. Three little toes. Now his wings, they're what was going to make him look like a bat. Now they go very big and curved. So we're going to take the curve and go all the way to the end of the paper. And we notice we're starting up on the head, not down on his body. And we're going to go all the way to the end of this side of the paper. Now we're going to make those big curves like that make the, you know, make it look like bat wings. So I'm going to start down here at the body. And I'm going to do a point and I'm going to curve up, go to a point and I'm going to curve up and connect right with the end of my wing. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Curve up, go to a point, curve up, go to a point, curve up, and go to the other side of his wings. Look how adorable he is. I like this bat. Now, he usually comes out, bats usually come out at dusk and dawn. That means right when it's getting dark or right before it's getting light. That's when they go out to get all the bugs. So let's go ahead and put a moon on here because the moon might still be shining when he is out. I'm going to put a couple stars in here. Now, do stars the best way you know how. 
I'll do one slow for you. I make a triangle. I connect another triangle and another triangle, just like that. And then I put two triangles on the bottom. Just a bunch of triangles that all meet in the middle. Now, if you looked up in the sky at night, the stars do not really look like this, but they usually look like just like dots in the sky. But when you're doing a cartoon, it's fun to put them like this. All right, let's go ahead and color him in now. Let's go and do his ears. Those big ears that he hears so much. You think he hears the bugs? Because he's got that sonar, he's got like radar. You think he hears the bugs flying at night? I bet he does. I bet you that's why he has such big ears. And then let's do the other ear over here. And let's do his nose. There we go. We got a little pink nose now. Very adorable. Now, since I'm right up in the sky kind of area, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do our moon. A lot of times I will do the moon in white, but I think today, because this is so cartoon looking and there's not too many colors involved, I'm going to make my moon yellow and I'll make my stars yellow too. But I could leave them white and you'd still know what they were. All righty. And then the other star right here. Now, a lot of times people draw bats as black, but they can also be brown. So I'm going to do our bat brown. Now, up at the lake house, I have a lake house that I go to, and there's a lot of bats up there. They're brown bats. And when I was a child, there was so many bats in the air. Oh, my gosh. But there were so many bugs around the lake that they were in heaven. They loved flying over our heads. And they never came down. They just stayed up there in the sky and did what they were supposed to do. But now that I'm older, there was a disease came out and it hurt the bats. So there are not too many bats left up there right now, which is kind of sad. It's very sad. So, okay, let me get the rest of the body while I'm talking, while I'm talking. I have a friend, her name is Steph. And Steph runs something called a bat rescue. And so sometimes people put sticky things out to catch bugs and other things and, and sometimes poor bats get stuck in them you know they don't you know they can't see this real thin plasticky stuff so they get stuck in them so when they get stuck people can call her and say we have a bat that needs help and they will help save the bat it's almost like an animal hospital for bats but um she finds that she thinks and everybody thinks that bats are very important for us they um like i said they keep that bug population down so, so we want to make sure we have, we take care of our bats. Some people even put bat houses out. They're kind of like, um, kind of like a bird house, but they, they're closed on all the sides except for the bottom because the bats go up inside and then they hang inside. And bats do hang upside down when they sleep at night. They are just, that's the way they live. That's the way they sleep. And um, up at my beach house, we still have bats. They go up, they like to stay up in the top of the house, like in the, um, the overhang of the house where the roof is on the outside. And I can't hear them, but my whole family can hear them. They go, during the day, they can hear them squeaking. They said, do you hear them? Do you hear them? I'm like, no, I don't hear them. But um, they do make a little squeaky sound. So, all right, well, we have got our bats our bat almost done here. So I want you to try a picture of this very special little creature we have, the bat. Now he's cute. I like him, I like him. So I will see you tomorrow for day 88. 88 days of drawing together. Oh my gosh, we are almost at day 100. Remember at day 100, I am going to go down to once a week. I'll only put this out on a Friday. So once a week, you're going to see me after the 100 days. So we have a, a few more, few more classes to go, but I don't, I won't give up on you. We're still going to draw because I enjoy this. I enjoy being with you. So do what I tell you every day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands, especially dirty ones. I want you to listen to your parents. I want you to be creative. And I want you to be kind to each other. And I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.